Hi, my name is Leah, and I'm one of the developers on the Visual Studio Team Services plugin for Android Studio and IntelliJ. Recently, we have added TFEC support to our plugin, and today I wanted to show you how to set up Android Studio to use TFEC and how easy it is to start working with in your repository. So first, if you go to the Preferences menu inside of Android Studio and look under Plugins, you can find our plugin if you browse repositories and you search for Visual Studio. There we go. I already have the plugin downloaded, but once you download it, it'll ask you to uh, restart the IDE and then you'll be all set. If you then expand the version control tree here and go to TFEC, uh, in this menu you see that you need to set uh, the location of your TF executable. And what this is, is it's a command line tool that the plugin uses uh, to call out to the server for all the TFEC actions that you do. To install this tool, if you go to our Team Explorer Everywhere page under Releases, uh, what you do is download the TECLC zip that you see here. That contains the TF tool. Uh, if you go back, I can show you. Uh, I've unzipped it here, uh, and here's the tool, so I'll select that. And then you can do a test. And what this test does is it shows, uh, it has Android Studio call out to the executable, uh, make sure uh, it can uh, properly uh, read um, back the the response from the executable uh, and you're good to start working with TFEC. Another thing to show you under preferences is the team services page that we have here that is new. Uh, what this is is it shows you all the configurations for the different repositories that you're logged into. Uh, this is a new machine for me so I currently don't have any repositories loaded up here um, but it'll show you uh, the repo, it's URL and the username you've used to log in with. Uh, you can come in here uh, and clean out the configurations if you would like, but what's great is that if you rotate your credentials or if they've expired or something, you can update your credentials here. Lastly, what I'd like to show you is if you're using uh, a HTTP proxy, um, you can use the Android Studio or Android or IntelliJ or Android Studio um, native page here to set up your manual proxy configurations. Um, and our plugin will pull the configurations from here and use it uh, when they call out to the server. Uh, for this demonstration, we're not going to use a proxy, but I just wanted to show you that um, that is available to you if you are using a proxy. So let's get started. Let's come up here and we're going to check out our TFVC repository. Let me sign out and sign back in so you can see the process. Um, you come in here and you put in your username and what this does is once you log in uh, it looks for all the TFEC repositories uh, that are associated uh, with your account name or your username and then it displays them all here for you so what you want to do is come in here uh, and I want to work on my Java 1 2016 repo that I have here uh, we made an app for when we were at the Java 1 conference. Uh, what I want to do is, let's make some updates to it uh, for 2017, because we're going back to the conference. And what I want to do also is check the checkbox here for edit the workspace before getting sources, and then do create a workspace. Uh, by checking that box, what it does is, it, it creates the workspace initially, but it does not pull down your sources. Uh, but instead it presents you with this dialog. Uh, what you can do here is you can um, play with your workspace mappings. So if you don't want to pull down all your sources from your repository, you can do that uh, here before moving forward. So what I'm going to do is add a workspace mapping and I'm going to cloak um, one of the directories, the signing directory in particular here, I do not need to work with. So I'm going to select that and save my workspace and it won't pull down uh, that signing directory for me. So we'll give it a second to, to update the workspace and pull down the sources. Um, but it as, as it does that, um, some, some things that would be nice to address or to let you know about is not only um, 
does our plugin have TFEC features for it? We also have broader team services features as well. Um, so let's see, we're going to open in this window. Uh, and let me show you some of those broader features just to start with. Uh, what you'll see here is if I open the uh, version control menu and then go to work items, uh, you can actually see, oh, I think we got a gradle error here. That's okay, we'll, we'll leave that go for now. Uh, but back to the, the work items tab here, you can see uh, these are all the work item tabs uh, that are, or these are all the work items that are assigned to me. Uh, you can play with different queries that you have as your um, preferred queries, but I, I don't have any of those set up right now. We'll just look at the assigned to me. Um, what also is nice is if you have a build uh, definition associated with your repository, um, the, the status of the build uh, will show up down the bottom right hand corner here. So we'll give it a minute. It needs to uh, pull and refresh there. Right now it's just a question mark, but we'll see what happens uh, in a couple minutes once the, the polling kicks in. So let's get started. Um, if we go up here and we open up our project, the first thing we see is the signing directory did not get pulled down, um, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, but we want to start, you know, we want to start working. We want to start contributing right away. We don't want to take forever to, to uh, you know, make our first um, changes. So let's look in here. We see that under my work items, I see I'm missing some unit tests, apparently. Um, and I also can see, too, that my build is broken. It's updated down here in the little red X. Um, so that's not a good sign. Uh, so let's say, let, let's go and make some unit tests um, to satisfy um, this work item that we have. So if I dig into my directory here, I can see under Java that of a main activities uh, class, but then under test, it shows I don't have a test for it. So uh, for the demo, let's, let's make some tests. Let's uh, work on this work item that uh, we've been assigned. So what I want to do actually is uh, before I start working, I want to work from inside of a branch. So let's create a branch to work inside. So if you right click, uh, you'll see that there's a TFVC specific menu that comes up. And under here are all the uh, different TFVC actions that you can do. So right now I want to create a branch. So I come in and I choose create a branch. And I see that I want to... Uh, Let's see, I don't want to create a branch for app. I want to create a branch for test, actually. That was my mistake there. So if I go back and choose create a branch for test, uh, since I'm working on these tests, and I come in here and I want to make that branch under source. So I create a new branch. Um, I'm going to call it new tests. And that'll be my new branch name that I'm going to create and work inside of. And then I'm also going to create the, a copy of that branch locally. So it creates, uh, it takes a second to, to create on the server and then pull down here. But once that happens, um, I'll be ready to start creating my tests. Okay. There we go, branch has been created. Um, and for the sake of time, sometimes Android Studio takes time to synchronize, but there we go. So we have our new branch. It's the exact same thing, exact clone of the test uh, directory that's originally there. Um, so let's work inside of that. So I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to call it main activity test. And what's nice about this now is that uh, uh, TFVC is hooked up as your version control system, uh, so it can uh, detect when a new file is, is added. So I also want to add this to TFVC. So you can add it at the same time, and if you go to the local changes uh, tab here down in version control, 
uh, you can see your file has been added. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to say, uh, I'll write a comment here, comment in here saying this is where the new test should be added. And then I'm going to um, save this and, and check this in so that other people as well can, can work on this file and add tests as they go. So I'm going to um, come in here uh, to the version control tab and do commit changes. So what's nice here is, oh, looks like TFDC also wants to add some of the uh, Android Studio specific um, files, but we won't do that for the moment. Uh, okay, so here uh, the commit dialog has come up. Um, for the sake of time, I don't want to perform code analysis or look for to-dos. But what I do want to do is click on the Team Services icon that's here. And what this does is it shows me my work items that are assigned to me, and then I can choose one of them, so create unit tests. And what it does is it populates my commit message, but it also, uh, when I check in this change, will make that association on the server. So your work item uh, in your check-in or your... Um, uh, yeah, your check-in that you do will be associated, or your change set, that's what I was looking for. Your your uh, work item and your change set are associated so you could track, um, you know, where you've made changes and for what work items and why, which is really nice. So I'll do a check-in now. And what you see here is it pushes the changes up to the server. You can see change set number 63 was created. If I click on that, I come over here, and I can see that my file is added. I, it's associated to that work item that uh, I added in the check-in dialog. Um, and you've already made your first change. Uh, so really easy to get set up and started working with TFBC. Um, you, as well, if you come in here and, and you know, you're... Uh, your coworkers are making changes and they've done something to, let's say, um, one of the test files as well. Uh, you come in, they're looking at the branch uh, that you created, and they see that uh, they want to add to your comment. Let's say ASAP. We don't have any tests. We need to add them immediately. You save these changes. If you go back to Android Studio, it's very simple to go up top here, uh, and you go back to the TFEC menu options, and you do an update. Uh, if I update from the top directory, it'll pull from everywhere, but it will show you um, it's found a new update here, um, and it's pulled it down so you now see uh, the changes uh, in your file. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. It's a very um, simple demonstration, but it shows you how you can get up and running with TFBC uh, and get, get changes pushed out immediately.